What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Mr. Glibizich. We have to be really quiet because we're out here at night. We're stalking our prey through the night, and we're going to start shooting at them, but the only catch is we don't want to give our position away with muzzle flash. So, what are we going to do about it? Today, on Mr. Clubazine, what we're going to compare the uh, three-prong flash hider to a standard birdcage um, flash hider, which is a great flash hider. And also, we're going to be testing out the uh, Surefire Warden. It's a blast regulator, whatever that's supposed to mean. So anyways, today I'm Mr. Clubazine. Thank you for turning, tuning into the channel. Okay, so we're going to start with the standard birdcage flash hider. It's a birdcage flash hider. Um, mil spec, what comes on every single AR. And we'll see how that performs. So let's go ahead and do three shots. See what it looks like. Three shots, birdcage. Just, do you think my position will be given away to my enemy? Yeah, probably on the third shot after they see here impact. What if there's only three guys? I only need three shots, right? Then nobody saw nothing. There we go. The ghost. So just letting you guys know, we are using standard 16-inch barrels on both. Both the uh, mil-spec birdcage flash hider and the three-prong flash hider. I have a feeling the three-prong flash hider is going to perform better because that's what Grand Thumb says, and, well, whatever Grand Thumb says is obviously the truth. So... Let's go ahead and uh, give this bad boy a little whirl. Three prong flash hider. I barely saw anything. Dude, that's pretty crazy. I'm gonna shoot two more. is very very good so heads up guys you don't need a suppressor to hide your flash just kidding uh i thought that performed really really well now let's go ahead and test out the uh blast regulator i think it's called the warden surefire warden and we'll see how that performs on here boom i'm back we have the warden back on here and let's go ahead and take three shots to see if it uh does help or if it doesn't help all right three shots Surefire Warden. Yeah, that. Uh, I will say, the Warden is not worth it if you are trying to suppress the flash. Uh, that was really, really freaking right. I was kind of hoping it was going to uh, maybe hide the flash just a little bit, but it is a blast regulator and it does shoot everything out. Um, so that is interesting. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. It really helps me out, and I'm trying to grow. So, what did we learn today? We learned that uh, if you're trying to suppress Flash, the Surefire Warden is definitely not what you want. But if you really want to look really freaking cool out there and just blast everybody away, blast the girls away, whatever you want to do, I don't. that's probably weird. I'm probably going to cut that out. The best thing you can possibly buy for your AR if you don't have the money or you're not old enough to buy a suppressor is a three-prong flash hider. If you're trying to suppress flash, granted, you do sacrifice some recoil management because you do have better recoil management if you use a standard or like a compensator. A compensator freaking shoots fireballs. It's probably just as bad as the Warden. But in my opinion, this uh, for like a recce rifle setup, you're going to want either a three-prong or suppressor. Uh, your bird standard bird cages work good to start with, but I would definitely highly recommend you upgrade to something better, especially if you're going to be shooting at night and you want to keep your position concealed and uh, away from all the action. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Drop down in the comments below uh, some future content, any ideas that you guys would like me to do or cover. Uh, whether it be another drill or shooting some 22s. may even dip my toe into some gun reviews eventually, so go ahead and let me know what you think about that. And also a word to the haters. Thank you for hating. I appreciate you. Uh, I couldn't do this without you guys.